Samson. Samson was powerful. And one day Samson was in the desert by himself. And suddenly there appeared a thousand soldiers coming across the desert to kill him. Samson had no weapons, no defense. So Samson looked around at the sand and, and he saw in the sand an old jawbone of a dead donkey. He picked it up, he shook the sand out of it, it had three teeth in it. Samson dug his feet into the sand to get a position and he waited for the soldiers who were coming. They were killing in their eyes. They had murder in their eyes with swords and spears coming to kill him. And Samson stood there with his muscles buckling in the sun and he sweated. And as they came, when the first one came, he swam. Man fell dead. The second one came, he swam. Man fell dead. And a thousand men came against him. And every time he swam, they died. And when it was all over, Samson stood in the desert with the heat falling on his body with sweat mixed with blood, looking at a thousand dead men around him with horses screaming. He had killed a thousand men with one job. He was successful with the job. Why? Because the Bible says the Holy Spirit came upon the jawbone. What shocked me was when I read the next statement in the Bible. It says Samson did something that you will never do in South Africa. <laughs> it says Samson took the jawbone that was successful and the next verse says and Samson threw the job on. There are some job homes in this church. They were successful a hundred years ago. They were successful 50 years ago. They were successful 20 years ago. But God is saying the anointing is not on that program anymore. Sometimes your greatest enemy is your success. Samson understood something, that the jawbone was only for that occasion. There are some programs in churches that were only for that occasion. But because it was successful, you are still trying to keep it alive, and it's killing the people. Thank <laughs> you. 
down to the nearest engineer. And he would say, pattern this for me. And produce a prototype for me. Then I wanted to take it to a manufacturer and just produce a million jaw bones and I would sell them to the armies so they can know that the jaw bone works and I would call them Samsonite. <laughs> and I would take the jaw bone and with proof that it can kill a thousand men, I would sell it to other armies. And I would trade it to the next generation because it worked for me. Read my next please. I will trade it. I will what? Trade it. Say it slow. I will trade it. Shit. In the next 50 years, you can't use 